so I just saw Detective Pikachu, right? Oh, and by the way, hi, my name is Anime Sum. I make videos if you like what you see on the channel, I guess go ahead and subscribe. But anyways, um, I want to go ahead and disclose, um, I don't know, I guess my Pokemon background because this might be the first time somebody might click on a video of mine and realize who's this random guy and what's he talking about Detective Pikachu for. Um, real quick, just want to disclose my background. Um, basically, I grew up with the series. I'm 23. The Pokemon Red and Blue were like my first games ever. I've been playing the series up until Platinum, and um, I didn't I, di I didn't play Black or White or X and Y because um, make a long story short, um, I didn't have access to a DS anymore, so I've never played those games. And then I got back into it again with um, Sun and Moon. Um, I really appreciate the series, even though I have some. I have some questionable things to say about it regarding it nowadays with Let's Go and such. But anyways, besides the fact, um, so I saw Detective Pikachu, right? And I thought it was an okay movie. You know, I would say 7 out of 10. There was some things that... Oh, I got a phone call. There was, <laughs> there were some things that kind of felt... Rush? There was some good pace and some kind of rushing at the end there, but I, I won't get into all of it because this isn't necessarily a review. Um, in the end of the- around the final arc of the movie, I noticed that- Okay, so, I guess spoilers, there's like a neat little thing that they do with the Pokemon Ditto, to where, um, Ditto, you know, you know it takes a, the appearance of, like, Pokemon, right? But, like, in the movie, they also take the appearance of, like, you know, people and such, which was a really cool thing to, you know, implement Ditto as. But one of the things that really gets to me, as soon as it happened, is when Ditto transforms from one of these, like, agents, right? And the copy Ditto transformation still has the beady eyes, those black eyes that Ditto normally has, right? That is still retained in the transformation. And I'm thinking to myself, this really, <laughs> this really bugs me. Because the only time that I recall, because I also watched um, the Pokemon anime growing up, you know, in, in English, you know. Um, the only time that I recall that this ever happening in any Ditto media, as far as my knowledge, because I believe that normal dittos don't keep that facial detail because, you know, the ability of ditto is to essentially flawlessly copy what it's supposed to copy. Uh, for instance, I'll just read some, like, Pokedex entries, like, from Red and Blue, it says, Capable of copying an enemy's genetic code to instantly transform itself into a, a duplicate of the enemy. And I'll just read it uh, one more. I'll just say, um, it has the ability to reconstruct reconstitute its entire cellular structure to transform into whatever it sees so basically dittos are you know if you want to go to the whole theory thingy they're like failed mu clones experiment anyways their job is to essentially perfectly copy what they're trying to replicate right all the way you know all the way down to the perfect molecule i'm talking about this like like it's a real thing but the only time that it ever had its face stuck like that was from an episode of an anime where the whole per premise was like, oh, I have this ditto, right? I believe it's like a girl or guy. I don't know. I haven't watched the anime, but I remember this from my childhood. There's this kid and they have a ditto and the weird quirk is that I guess like this ditto is kind of weird because like it keeps its ditto face. It transforms into the thing, right? But it keeps the ditto face and for whatever reason, the other thing, the other reason that this bothers me is because whenever this is brought up in social media, that face, for whatever reason, is always associated with Ditto. And I'm thinking to myself, no, that isn't Ditto. Ditto is a legit copy of what it's supposed to copy, right? Ditto, the face, when it's normal, okay, that's Ditto. When it transforms and it still has those beady eyes, that isn't necessarily Ditto. That's more like a... I don't know how else to describe it, but of, of a, I guess, an inexperienced Ditto, a non-perfect transformation of a thing. It's not perfect. Dittos are meant to replicate what they're supposed to copy. And 
I don't know what to think of that in the movie <laughs> because they kind of bring it up in a, in a scene they're like oh you know I won't hit you I won't hit like my my I basically I won't hit a girl even though she has like black beady eyes I don't know why they they didn't perfectly replicate it. I guess it's a callback. It's either a callback or an oversight. I have no idea. I'm basically making this video to tell, to see what you guys think of this. Do you guys agree <laughs> with what I'm saying? I legit don't know. This legit bothers me because I think that people still have the idea that Ditto's are supposed to have these like, you know, simple faces, the two dots and the line, right? But like, <laughs> they keep they keep the eyes when they transform in the movie, and I don't understand that. I guess it's a callback. I don't know. Um, that's, it, it bugs me because it only happens one time in like any media of Pokemon that I've, you know, have in my memory. If there is any place else that this happens, uh, let me know. I would love to learn more about the history of Ditto. Um, but that's gonna be it. I made this video also because I feel like no one's talking about this. Because if it bugs me, I feel like it's gonna bug someone else because like why would you whatever I don't know all right I'm done thank you for watching um I'll see you for more videos and um anything else that kind of bugs me and I guess this video uh warranted goodbye <laughs>